Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we're ready for the Champions League round of 16 second leg. It is Bayern Munich up against Celtic. Well, Derek, what a first leg performance that was from Bayern. They were really excellent. Let's hope they show the same sort of qualities again today. side Sven Ulreich begins between the posts Dayo Upamecano plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defense and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack And here's the starting 11 for Celtic. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. It is a decent-looking attack here. Targets available, cross comes in. Oh, tremendous header that time, but the goalkeeper was there. So, a corner here. Who can he pick out? Well, still dangerous. Well, able to survive that attacking push. It might be. I'm begging to be put away. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, the short corner routine. And a useful cross. And a no-nonsense clearance. And possibilities here. Goretzka! And a goal to delight the fans! Just what they were hoping for! Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Moting. And he's in. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Went in strongly to win the ball. Oh, a nice looking pass. And now can he keep calm? 
And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Hatate. McGregor. Can he finish? And in! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here's the replay, and that's the perfect outcome. Right into the corner and in off the post. That's a very good goal. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Can he put it away? And alarmingly, that is a long way off target. time not just the end of this second leg but the end of the tie as a whole and the team to progress Bayern well you can't say they didn't deserve it they were by far and away the better team over the two legs and the result was never much in doubt I'm sure they'll face a sterner test in the next round but they'll be full of confidence off the back of that performance well a strong contribution from Leon Goretzka interested to know what you made of his performance well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.